All right, this is the follow-up video to my June 60 chorus review. Uh, I had a lot of questions about the internal trim pots of the June 60, so we're gonna take this thing apart. Uh, I got a screwdriver, razor blade to get the sealant off of the little trim pots. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, so I haven't pre-done this. I haven't tried it out to see what the results are going to be. Y'all are kind of figuring this out as I am. So I'm just going to start taking it apart and we'll see where it gets us. Taking apart the outer case is pretty easy. You just got two screws on each side on the little wood panels. And you take those out and the whole thing comes apart. So once you take those screws out, the assembly just pops apart like that. You can see the trim pots now. See the little yellow orange right there? There's one on that side and then another one right there. All right, so we'll continue to assembly to get at them. Looks like I'm gonna have to grab a ratchet. Got a ratchet, it is 11 millimeters, is what ended up being the correct size. Now you've also got two Phillips head screws that are holding the circuit board to the chassis, so I'm gonna knock those out real quick. These little screws require a different size Phillips than the outer screws. Should work. buttons just kind of snap on you can see the inside of the switch fits into that so you just have to pull that off all right so there's our circuit board so now we can see the pots much more clearly you've got one there and one there more sealant than I anticipated, but I'm going to hack at them with the razor blade and see if I can get them cleaned up enough where I can get them to turn. Trying to simultaneously get this in the shot and focus and not slice my hand up. top of the trimmer still has the red stuff on it, but I, I got it off of the edge of this. You can see the gap where there's still some right there, still some right there, but I've kind of disconnected it. And I think, <clears throat> I think I've got it disconnected on this side too. Not I'll hack out on it a little more, but I'm going to grab a pin and mark the factory location. So after I start twisting this thing, I can get us back to where we started for some comparisons. Satisfying. So I'm going to set them both back to the factory setting and then hook up the audio and power. Hopefully not electrocute myself and uh, start tweaking and see what happens. Okay, so we're all hooked up. One, two, and it is in stereo. 
Just for reference, here is our sound clean. Setting one. Setting two. Setting three. So I'm start with one and turning the left trim pot. Let's see if I can do this while I'm playing. To be honest i don't hear anything um so let's see possibly if it's affecting something in setting two So the left trim pot seems to affect chorus number two, and it's affecting the speed, but it seems like there's a very wide range on the counterclockwise side where there's little to no effect. And then when you get almost completely clockwise, it slows down significantly. That's as far as it turns, but sounds like it's maybe half as fast. We all said uh, the factory setting was too fast, so that's that's good. We can slow it down. So let's try the right trimmer. I suspect since the left trimmer affected course two that the right trimmer will affect course one, but uh, I'm not gonna assume that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it while I'm still in course two and see what happens. So this is really odd. Fully clockwise, the depth seems to be diminished uh, quite a bit. And again, there's there's a lot of motion before you actually get to any effect. So when I go all the way clockwise, the depth gets much shallower, but the speed simultaneously goes back up, which is really weird. It seems to affect both depth and speed. So listen for that. So you can hear there, we have a lot of depth, but a slower speed. As I go fully clockwise, right there, my depth is a little diminished, but my speed goes back up. So I think our goal for this whole thing was to get the speed as low as we could and the depth as low as we could. The left trimmer didn't seem to affect depth at all. The right did, uh, but only at its clockwise most position. And at that point, it was a little bit faster than the slowest I was able to get it. But I think the lower depth is going to give us a better sound overall. So I'm going to... Leave pot two fully clockwise 
and then try to dial in the left pot to see if I can get uh, just a better overall sound. So it does seem like the two pots are interactive because I'm now getting a different response <clears throat> than I did before I moved to the other pot. So I've, I've found a setting on both pots that sounds decent. So I'm going to flip around to the different modes and kind of see what the overall character of the pedal is now that I've tweaked on these pots a little bit. Here's our non-affected sound again for reference. Chorus one. Chorus 2 is still the faster of the two. It sounds like we definitely have a much uh, less deep modulation than we originally had, which personally I think makes for a better sound. A simultaneous one and two setting still uh, rhythmic. I'm going to try tweaking on it a little bit with both uh, choruses enabled and see if I can dial in something a little subtler on this uh, setting three. So here's the original setting. And here it is with the best setting I could find for it. So still pretty deep, but less deep. I don't know that setting three is ever going to be really useful with that rhythmic, rhythmic quality. But I think setting one is much more usable now. I want to set up my pad to have a little more uh, release, see how this sounds when we start to get a little bit of note build up. So I got a little more release now. Once again, here's our original sound. And here's with it dialed in a little better. Not subtle, but more subtle than it was. Setting two is just so fast still. 
I don't, I just don't know if that's a usable sound. You have to really be looking for something pretty in your face to want to use that sound. And setting three one more time just for giggles. So in summary, I think there is a better sound to be found inside this pedal. I still really only like setting one. Setting two is too fast. Setting three is too rhythmic. Setting one with the uh, trimmer, trimmers dialed in so that the modulation isn't so deep, you can get some pretty decent sounds out of it. Now, is it worth it to take it apart, have to scrape off the pink goop, and then dial in these things to get a sound that's acceptable? That's, that's really going to be up to you. It's a $50 pedal, and ultimately... This is the best sound I was able to get out of it.